Hello, this is Adrian uh, from Excel at the Office and welcome to another video. In this video, I'm going to show you why using PowerPoint is a much better tool than Microsoft Publisher. And this came to me because uh, someone I was conversing with on Twitter, uh, a very nice person, was asking for advice about Microsoft Publisher. And I find it a, quite an antiquated tool, so my immediate um, advice was ditch publisher and just use PowerPoint instead. But there's a couple of things you need to do to do that when you want to use PowerPoint for creating um, posters, flyers, newsletters and things like that instead of publisher. But watch this video, it will save you time, you won't have to learn publisher and all the antiquated stuff. Just do it in PowerPoint which is also much better than Microsoft Word because things just align nicer. So that's what it's going to be about. So let's get to it. First thing we do is uh, when you open a new PowerPoint presentation, you'll be presented with something like this. So firstly, you need to change the orientation, as I show you in my um, orientation video, where you um, change the slide orientation to portrait. And you can do that in the slide size. Um, if I just show you that again under the design ribbon, in the slide size section, go to custom slide size if it's not already showing and choose portrait rather than landscape. And that's it. Um, it'll ask you if, if you've already got content on there, um, you don't want to be doing that. You want to start a new fresh PowerPoint. So you can just generally select any one and I'm going to delete what's there uh, in the first instance because I don't want to use the default stuff. So now we've got it in portrait view and this will um, enable me to um, export it, for example, to A4. So I can already tell because I started with a widescreen, this isn't the A4 size, it's very long. So I'm going to just um, set the slide size to make sure instead of widescreen, wide screen, I'm going to choose A4 paper and then click OK. And again, it comes up with this option, but uh, just choose either one, maximize and sure fit, it doesn't matter. Now that looks better, it looks a bit more like a piece of paper. So this is slide one, um, and if you're doing a flyer, um, you'll just have the one slide, or you might want the two for the front and back, it's up to you. Um, but the first thing we do to get it a bit like one of the handy things in Publisher is the grid lines where you can line things up uh, all your design elements. So to do that we go to the view and under view you see under the show panel of the ribbon we've got things like grid lines here and that's just added these light marching at dots to show things lining up. It's quite uh, nice and symmetrical side to side and top to bottom. You can also add guides to show what's in the various uh, quadrants of your um, soon to be published PDF bit of paper. And even if you want to be even more precise, you can go to ruler so you can line things up according to the ruler at the top and the side, a bit like you'll see in Microsoft Word. And if you click this button here, you can show um, more options for your grid and guides. So I think the standard spacing is about right, so having the grid, although you can't visibly see it on the marching ants, it will highlight, bring things according to 0.2 centimeters, and I want things to align automatically to that grid, so I'm going to check the snap objects to grid button. Um, I want to see the grid on screen, we've already chosen that by the grid lines. Um, and the smart guides when shaped to align is pretty handy, which you'll see, see, soon see. So once we've got that set up, we can start um, inserting our content. So for example, I might want to insert a shape uh, at the top to start with for the title. And if I align it, I won't be particularly precise, but you can see it's uh, snapping things to the grid. Um, I'm going to zoom in a little bit because I'm viewing the whole page at once here, whereas I, I want the um, page width. So I'm just going to press the plus sign to 
carry on zooming in so I can see by eye that that's pretty um, precise and I might add um, some text to that shape for my um, title let's call it a monthly newsletter massively oversize my text to demonstrate it's clearly a title um, so that's my title sorted you can play about with the shapes and format it more fancy if you prefer um, and then I'm going to add a bit of word art to um, create a kind of subheading so for example I might put it in this uh, quadrant here for my subheading so for example I might choose um, issue 6 of my monthly newsletter which is uh, Gen 2023 and then you can insert other things so I might uh, insert a let's choose a illustration from the insert icons uh, picture if it's a newsletter or flyer about cats let's try that one and I um, will put that up in this top left corner you might also get this thing pop up as it did for me this designer thing which I don't find very helpful so I'll just click this link to ask PowerPoint to su stop suggesting design ideas for me but for now let's just resize this and this is where the option for um, if I go back to the view tab and open up this um, wizard box this display smart guides when shapes are aligned tick boxes check so that means you see these little arrows that come up to show the distances between or when something is the same width like those red marching ants arrows um, I find those quite helpful to just make for make sure everything aligns um, nicely and you can carry on um, building up your newsletter and text boxes and shapes and things you might even want to view my video on how to create uh, bespoke buttons or what looks like buttons and icons in PowerPoint um, but uh, so for example you'll start to add let's just add a simple text box here under my um, subheading and keep it the same width and filling up that quadrant now um, so that's where these grid lines help and as a default I'll always format a text box well as a default sorry the text box normally has a, a, a outline to it but it didn't in this circumstance so let me just do that again to show you I've been using Word a lot uh, recently and it adds an outline to the text box um, but you might want to uh, type something in your text box um, and there we go and when you're done with your monthly newsletter if I just uh, you get a nice preview here if you want to add additional pages it's just easy to duplicate the slide by right clicking on it and duplicating it uh, then delete the other content and add your own stuff uh, or if you prefer you can just right click under any slide and type um, add new slide and then just delete what's there because it's more often than not unhelpful when you're done you go to your file options and um, as usual you can save wherever you like on your computer but choose your save as and as a default it chooses obviously PowerPoint presentation but instead save it as a PDF and then you'll have your flyer newsletter uh, poster whatever it is you're creating saved as a PDF that's then ready for print or other dis distribution so everyone can read it so that's how you create a flyer use or newsletter in PowerPoint saves you having to use um, uh, publisher and learn have a learning curve with that um, if this is your need and I'll just show you when I fit the slide to um, show the whole slide you can see how that's coming along so I hope you found that helpful please um, like the video comment below if you want to see something else 
and subscribe for future updates. Um, also, you might find um, on my blog this. Uh, I'll share on my blog um, a text version with screenshots of this video. Okay, take care and goodbye.